Allahi Rabbil Alameen Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad Nawaitu ta'lim wa ta'lim wa tadakar wa tadkira wa naka wa l-intifa wa l-ifada wa l-istifada wa l-hatha ala tamasuki di kitab Allah wa sunnati rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa l-dua ila l-huda wa l-dalalata ala l-khair ibtiha wa jhilla wa maradatihi wa qurbihi wa tawadihi subhanahu wa ta'ala inshaAllah I pray that everyone's well. We started our, our Salat prep morning assembly as we always do with the uh, intention of Imam al-Haddad. And the intention of Imam, Imam al-Haddad is the intention for seeking knowledge. And it's a unique intention because it makes it very comprehensive that it not only is your pursuit for yourself, but it's also to give back as well. So it's a, it's a Jamia intention. We've read the translation many times. There's a few new students, so I'll just summarize that it's that you intend to learn and to benefit others, to remind yourselves and remind others, to be a source of guidance to everything that's good, including, including guiding people to the awareness of Allah and his, uh, the example of His Messenger, peace be upon Him. And then also the reminder that ultimately you're doing all of this, whether you're going to work today, whether you're, you're working at home today, whether you are at school, whether you are, um, whether you are, um, whether you are, you know, studying from home, um, inshallah, that's the intention. Inshallah, we we'll just read it one more time again. Now we to ta'lim wa ta'lim, wa tadakar wa tadkira, wa nafa wa intifa, wa ifada wa istifada, wa hata ala tamasuki di kitab Allah, wa sunnati rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa dua ila al-huda, wa dalalata ala al-khair. ابتغاء وجه الله ومرضاته وقربه وطوابه سبحانه وتعالى الحمد لله we have people joining from um, Instagram and on Facebook and on our own uh, Google Meet for Sana Prep Learning Center the students and families and inshallah we'll be posting these small daily reminders on our YouTube channel as well which is at Sana Trust um, Foundation so we want to welcome a few new students I know we have two, three, four new students in morning assembly today and uh, their families as well and just a reminder to other families as well that from now through the end of the academic year Sana Prep Learning Center has opened up some of its classes for anyone in the world to join. We know that a lot of families are, are at home with their children and um, sometimes it can be a challenge to organize the day and whatnot. So you know alhamdulillah we have over a decade of experience in, in teaching in a blended model and so we feel we can help. So. If you know any families that are interested or you might be interested, you're welcome to visit our website um, and our social media channels to get more information about how you can join uh, at least one or two classes per week with Sana Prep Learning Center at least through the end of the academic year. And then if you are in South Florida and you're interested in joining the center for the next academic year, enrollment is open, inshallah, you're welcome to consider uh, Sana Prep as well. So alhamdulillah, we're not going to have a long assembly today, you know, but there's something really I think uh, simple that we can talk about, but very, very important. You know, as we approach Ramadan in the next few days, um, all of us should begin to prepare uh, mentally, physically, spiritually, um, and, and really do things inwardly and outwardly to help us in that regard. One of the things that I learned from my, one of our teachers, Habib Qadim, he wrote recently that his teachers um, taught him that before entering the month of Ramadan, that they would begin to make all of the intentions, they would begin to list like a grocery list um, or things to do, right? All of the intentions that they had for the month of Ramadan. So they may intend to memorize something. You might intend to establish a good deed. You might intend to stop a bad deed. You might intend to eat better. You might in intend to pray tahajjud. You might intend to, uh, you know, improve your relationships. You might imp you might intend to ask people for forgiveness that you know you need to ask for forgiveness from. You might intend certain things, right? You might have a whole list of things that you want to do, but you never intend to do them, and then Ramadan comes and Ramadan goes, and, and you, you, you feel that it's unfulfilled, or you feel that you've left something on the table. So what Habib Qadim said is that his teachers taught him to all of the intentions that you have, all of the good intentions that you have in your heart for the month of Ramadan, that you, you list them, that you actually write them all down. And so my advice to my own self and my family and to all of you um, is to get out a piece of paper or a, or a Google Doc or whatever you want, wherever you want to do it 
and start to write down all of the intentions that you have for the month of Ramadan. And one thing would be, and what I would add to that is one thing we can do is maybe make at least 30 intentions, right? Make at least 30 intentions and, um, and, and see if you can, we can complete all 30 of them. You know, there's all, there's all these different types of challenges. I saw something recently, the, uh, the Surah Al-Mulk challenge, because uh, Surah Al-Mulk has 30 ayahs in it, so the challenge is to memorize one ayah per day and have the Surah memorized, right? But all of these things are not going to really be meaningful unless we commit to them. So uh, we have a few days prior to Ramadan, so maybe as a family we can have 30 intentions, or as individuals we can have 30 intentions. But we should all list down what our, our, or basically what our hopes and our dreams and our goals are for the month of Ramadan and intend to do them. And then by the permission of Allah, they will happen or they won't happen. But certainly the first step is to, to write them down and to, and to express them. You know, the scholars say that or in the hadith, it says that actions are by their intentions. So inshallah, we can begin our Ramadan before we enter it with these intentions that you know, we have some very young students, six, seven, eight years old. What are, what are their intentions, right? It's simple. They can put something very simple that they intend to um, bring their mother or their father a glass of water every day for iftar, right? Something as simple as that. Or they intend to put out the prayer mats for their family every day uh, for Maghrib prayer. Something simple. Or they intend to pick up the dishes every day or they intend to uh, make a colorful art drawing every day for their, for their mom or their dad or their siblings, right? So you're never, you're never too young to make an intention for the month of Ramadan, and you're certainly never too old to make an intention for the month of Ramadan. But know that Ramadan is something that, where it's like people are upset or sad about not praying Jummah. But well, Jummah is not confined. You know, Allah is not confined to the masjid, right? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Jummah exists so you could continue to make it special for your family. You can continue to dress up. You could continue to make the adhan. You could continue to pray in jama'at, right? Likewise, Ramadan, you know, you, 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 it's not connect your ibadah and your acceptance, your qabul of your ibadah and your intentions and your himma should not be connected just to the masjid, right? It should be connected to your heart and your heart should be connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So your Ramadan can be um, as special or more in spite of not being able to go to the masjid and inshallah Allah opens the masajid soon but this Ramadan has the potential to be the best Ramadan that you've ever had because you will be in one place and you will be able to focus on what you're doing and what you're not doing and inshallah it's like our teacher he made a dua recently that he is praying that this is the best Ramadan for the ummah of the Prophet Muhammad like ever right since the time of the prophecy. And so these are the intentions of our Masha'iq and we should have the same himma and the same intention that this be the, the most blessed Ramadan for not just you and your family, but for your community and for the ummah of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And everyone make that intention, inshallah. And that could be intention number one, right? That we intend for this to be the best Ramadan that we've ever had, and not just for ourselves and our family, but for the entire ummah, inshallah. So this is our, our morning assembly's advice and, and nasiha for this morning is that we all enter Ramadan with a list of intentions. We mentioned that we should write them out and we should have at least 30 intentions, right? And make them for yourself or you can make them collectively as a family and maybe write them on the refrigerator, right? Post them on the refrigerator and check them off as you've been able to do them. So this can be something you can do on an individual level and on a, on a family level as well, inshallah. <laughs> And then I just want to make one um, khas or specific advice to older students or students of maturity that will be fasting and be responsible for their ibadah. That uh, you know, something that we've reminded you about before, that your adolescence is, no, is not an excuse for you to um, believe that your capabilities are any less than someone older than you. There is countless stories of Sahaba who were... Um, just extraordinarily spiritual giants of their time, right? You have so many. You have stories about Abbas, radiallahu an, Anas, radiallahu an. You have stories about Osama, radiallahu an. So many, Abdullah ibn Umar, radiallahu an. Right? And so you, you have the, the spiritual aptitude and capability of an adult, 
You know, and that's why by Sharia, you're considered an adult. And that's why angels are now acknowledging you as an adult. Because spiritually, you are an adult. So my nasiha, inshallah, we can talk more about it over the next couple of days, is to really take your Ramadan seriously and make sincere objectives and intentions for yourself in this month of Ramadan. And inshallah, Allah give you tawfiq and openings in it. And those of us who are older and responsible for others as well, we should set the example, right? If your children are not, have not appreciated Ramadan or you feel that they've missed out on certain aspects, then know that perhaps the reality is that they see a, a limited Ramadan in you and I, right? And so we should, Allah knows best, but we should um, be sincere about what we represent in our month of Ramadan to our children and our families, and they should see himma, and they should see ibadah, and they should see um, ikhlas, they should see Qur'an, right? they should see sabr. These are all the qualities that they should see, and if we don't see them in our children, let's first look to see what we're reflecting and what they see in us, inshallah. I pray that Allah give everyone tawfiq to be sincere and make um, good intention and allow them to arrive to all of their intentions, alhamdulillah. Um, and I appreciate everyone who's joined. I see some friends that are on Instagram. Alhamdulillah, we're well, the family is well. Um, so I appreciate people asking about our welfare and everything. Um, to all of the students who are joining us this week for Senate Prep Learning Center classes, we want to just um, tell you one quick thing, that one of the most important things for us at Senate Prep is Adab. And so whether we are online or whether we're on the ground, um, the way that we speak, the way that we behave, and um, what we reflect of prophetic character is always the most important thing at Senate Prep Learning Center. So we ask that people um, maintain those etiquettes. We ask that the Senate Prep students that have been with us for many years um, be the example set. And we ask that parents who have registered for those um, classes that they ensure their children are on time um, and that they're prepared as well. And then just to the Senate Prep students that um, only the learning coaches will be responsible for letting students in uh, in the class, inshallah. So I appreciate everyone, all the families, all the parents, all the adults that are listening. Allah bless you and keep you protected and give you tawfiq and put barakah in your himma and in your wealth and in your health. And may Allah protect all the families and make this a blessed day for them so that they learn about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and are a little bit closer to the prophetic character, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inshallah, we'll see all of the students in a minute.